Welcome to the new face house. Let's get go. crazy! Come on, let's boys, go! Come on, let's the Cloud House has been talked about for a while now in the YouTube world, and if you didn't know, it's a giant mansion that houses members of the Cloud Gang. They also expanded and added a neighboring mansion to house their affiliate group, the FaZe Clan. The rent for the Clout Gang and the FaZe Clan's humongous mansions combined cost over 83k per month, which is insane. Although these places were made pretty famous, apparently the FaZe Clan moved on to a new mega mansion and they even posted the home on their channel. In today's video, we'll look at the original Clout House, the new FaZe Mansion, and more. The Clout Gang and the FaZe Clan are affiliate groups that have lived in neighboring mansions for quite some time now, known as the Clout House. Members always change it seems, so personally I have trouble keeping up. The Clout Gang was founded by FaZe Banks and Ricegum, who are still residents of the Clout House. Although FaZe Banks is best known these days for vlogging to his 5 million plus subscribers on his channel and the Clout Gang, he's also owner of FaZe Clan, the world's most subscribed gaming team. The FaZe Clan also has a ton of members and enough that they need their own FaZe House or two. With all the members of the Clout Gang, FaZe Clan, and residents coming and going, I can see why they need so much space. Not to mention, since they're filming most of their videos here, you already know they want to show off. FaZe Banks and all of his pals make millions with their YouTube or social media career so they can afford the insane rent cost. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I'm going to be covering the original Clout House where the gang has made famous, as well as the new FaZe Clan mansion and more. By the way, the new FaZe House used to be the home of a big celebrity, but I'll tell you who a little later. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Nelk and James Charles, and we'll have links to some at the end of this. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. First we'll talk about the original famous Clout House, the giant mansion that houses none other than the Clout Gang. Residents have included FaZe Banks, Rice Gum, Alyssa Violet, Summer Rae, Carrington Durham, T-Wop, Ryan Swayze, Ugly God, FaZe K, and much more. But like I said, people are always moving in and out. FaZe Banks, who's basically the head of the house, is also owner of FaZe Clan, the ever popular group of gamers and affiliate group of the Clout Gang. The members of FaZe Clan moved to LA in 2016, first to Newport, then to Calabasas, and in 2018 moved into the neighboring mansion beside the Clout House. These gamers and influencers have lived in dual 12,500 square foot mansions in the Hollywood Hills for quite a while now, where one house is strictly full of the FaZe members and the Clout Gang group of influencers live in the other. They use the mansions like live-in dorms for influencers and gamers and during the day they work. FaZe Banks tweeted about expanding the original Clout House back in 2018 and said there would be 26 bedrooms in total to fill and it was three neighboring homes. They're located in the heart of Los Angeles in the Hollywood Hills close to Beachwood Canyon. The main Clout House is four stories high spanning 12,500 square feet with 10 beds and so many bathrooms I can't even keep track. I believe there's more than 14. Some features of this modern and massive house include a state-of-the-art home gym, a sauna and steam room, a home theater with seating for 20 or more people, and an epic pool and spa with a waterfall. Also in the backyard, there's a fire pit and patio area. Despite how many members live in the neighboring homes, rent supposedly costs 83k per month in total for the properties, so that's still insane. The next door mansion where the FaZe Clan members lived also had 12,500 square feet of living space and for an interview with New York Times, they opened their doors and showed off their house. There are about five FaZe boys living there at the time or more. Their mansion was spacious with white marble floors and silver railings. They didn't seem to have much personal belongings though and the house lacked personality. I also believe the clout houses came fully furnished with the rent price so they don't own any of it. Some noticeable features in the FaZe clan house included a FaZe logo by the TV and above the fireplace, a pool table as well as TV screens around the home running live counts and ranks of their channels and more. In the previous FaZe house there was also the entrance to the home's private movie theater outside of what was FaZe Jarvis's room at the time. Movie the theater was complete with a full bar and even a stripper pole on a platform. That's the first time I've ever seen that in a movie room. In one of the common areas, there were a bunch of beanbag chairs the gamers just hung out on. A lot of people in going into 2018, we want multiple houses. So we have some guys here, some guys at a new house that will be revealed later on. But for now, I'm going to show you guys this house, everyone living here, and just how crazy this house is because you guys, I, I don't even know. Despite the one house FaZe Clan had with the Clout Gang back in 2018, 
Spade's adapt also gave a house tour of another house the boys had in Hollywood. He explained the crew was so big they needed more than one place. I'm not sure if anyone is still living here, but it was also massive. Some features included winding staircases, an elevator, a formal dining room, a giant kitchen, a games room, multiple living areas, and balconies and outdoor cabanas looking out onto the hills. Of course, there were a ton of bedrooms spanned across the multiple levels to house all the guys, some of which even had two or three ensuite bathrooms. They also showed off the basement which had a home gym, ping pong table, air hockey table, and full movie theater with comfy seating and even a popcorn machine. That room was definitely my favorite. The phased house had a pool and spa out back too, and even though the water looked green, apparently it's because the tiling is green. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but I'm having a little trouble keeping up with who's living where. Like, who's in which phased house now? Who's in the clout house now. Anyways, I think the original clout house is still where it is, but it was reported that a few months ago that the FaZe clan was departing the two neighboring mansions, or their share of it anyways, and moving into a new flashy property. More recently, FaZe Adapt posted a video called the new FaZe house room tour and confirmed suspicions that the boys are moving. Okay, so we are here. It's official. This is the brand new FaZe house 2020. I am setting up my room right now, alright? As you can see, it's in the works. As esports have grown, so is the FaZe clan, and since they keep expanding their team, they need enough space where they're living to practice and make content together. This is why a new mansion seemed like a good idea. Personally, I like this property better as it looks more like a house and just a party pad and has a lot more outdoor space. The mansion is located this time in Burbank, California and was previously rented by none other than Justin Bieber back in 2016. Burbank is about 12 miles from downtown LA and slightly away from Hollywood in the southeast end of the San Fernando Valley. The new phase house is worth an estimated $10 million and costing the boys about 80 k per month in rent with a security deposit of 100 k It seems worth the price tag though because the main home spans about 12,800 square feet of living space and there's a total of 10 beds and 16 bathrooms. The home has a vibe of modern luxury and includes plenty of contemporary art in the design as well. There are actually four residences or structures on the property and they total 36,000 square feet. The main house has plenty of open living rooms for the FaZe Clan to hang out and game, a formal dining room, large kitchen, winding staircases and more. Some other features include a library, games room, home movie theater, full bar, outdoor dining, salon and spa room and full home gym. The guest house on the property is about 800 square feet with an open plan of two queen beds and two bathrooms, and apparently banned Fortnite star Jarvis K will call this spot home. And this whole area, Jarvis's crib. So he lives upstairs, got the little spiral staircase. All right, let's see if Jarvis is in here. It's super cool. It's open, should I just walk in? I feel like that's, he won't mind, right? Let's go. Yo, what's going on, bro? The listing for the new phase house says there's an additional apartment with one king bed and one bath, and a studio apartment with a bed and a bath as well. The mansion's lot spans almost an acre of land, and we can see the spacious backyard in Phase Adapt's video. There's a bunch of palm trees in the middle of the huge lawn and surrounding the yard, a 900 square foot pool, and outside space to tan and lounge. Not to mention a trampoline, a giant chessboard, and a tree house. What's up, baby? What's up? What are you doing? Um, we were running low on tight on rooms and space, so we stuck Alex out here. It's not bad up there, is it? Like, I kind of, it's kind of a vibe. Perhaps the coolest feature about the backyard is that it actually backs onto a private lake that's shared with the neighbors. It's not too often you see that in LA. The FaZe Clan doesn't need to be worried about their privacy either. Just because they're documenting their house on the channel, the added privacy this home has would make it hard for anyone to bother them. There's a home security system with 20 exterior cameras and of course a surrounding gate you can only enter with a key. So now we've seen the Clout House and the previous FaZe House where they had neighboring mansions and got to see some of the new place in Burbank FaZe's called. Home. What did you guys think? Did the FaZe Clan make the right move renting a new house? Personally, I like the new mansion way more. It was designed way classier in my opinion and looks more like a home. Hopefully the FaZe guys keep it that way. Before we end this video, I'll read out some comments from you guys. On our Paris Hilton house tour, Zachary Dillard said, Everyone it seems has something bad to say about her, but the fact is Paris was born into this celebrity world and she knows how to play the game. So she played it and took advantage of people's idiot fascination with the rich and famous and built herself her own empire. Now she's free to do whatever she wants. I talked with someone years ago who knew her and they said she wasn't anything like she portrays herself in the media. They said she was highly intelligent and sweet natured. I always thought she was just fun to watch. Couldn't agree more Zachary, I love this comment. 
I also got some requests for house tours and the likes of CJ So Cool and Eminem, so let me know if I should do those soon. Alright guys, that's all I could find in the new FaZe house and the Clout house. I don't know exactly how many or which members of the FaZe clan are living in the new place, so feel free to tell me if you know. What do you guys think of the new mansion? Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!